Once I was seven years old, my mama told me, Go make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely. Once I was seven years old. It was a big, big world, but we thought we were bigger, pushing each other to the limits. We What's up, guys? Up bright and early. It is 8 a.m. on a Saturday. Um, there's my gym. I have to U-turn to get to it. <laughs> Going to Carly's class. I haven't had her class in uh, maybe six weeks. Um, she just redid it. Oh, I'm gonna get this light too. Woohoo! Um, no, we didn't get it because you're too far up. <sighs> Yeah, I talk to myself when I drive. Um, but yeah, I haven't, oh, that guy, this bitch just U-turned. Oh, shh, she's in, this girl goes to my gym, she's gonna be in the class, so that's funny. Anyways, um, I figured I'd show you, like, the before, because her class destroys me, and I usually end up dripping all over the place. It's in this huge room. She has no joke when it comes to it, but she sent out this text saying that, it was all new and it had all this stuff and then yesterday she asked me like something about a sally up and sally down and I was like I don't know what that is and she was like oh my gosh you're gonna love class and usually when she gets excited it means she's gonna make you hurt and then when I left last night she was like see you at class she's like you're gonna be so sore yay I was like but yeah so I want to try to film in there I just don't think I'll like be focused on that or have the chance to there's a lot of other people in there and they may not want to be she may not let me. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see, but then I'm gonna try to lift some back. I'm wearing a shirt like I haven't worn it forever. I think it's a Lulu shirt. I'm not sure. My sister gave it to me. It's very like up here and then like looser down here. So yeah, check it after. Woohoo! Let's go. Oh hello. And boo. So, it's time, guys. It's time. Look at Boo's toy. That's your toy. Go play. Um, there's some stuff we gotta talk about. And as much as it sucks to talk about this, there's so much good coming from it. So, do you like where I'm sitting at the end of my, like the ottoman part of my couch on the floor? Only cause I can set my camera on the ottoman. And the, the, the natty light is just so beautiful. Actually, it's probably not. It makes my hair look crazy blonde too. And Boo loves it. He's like, mommy's on the floor. So anyways, I thought I'd fill you guys in. You're gonna see a clip later where I'm wearing the same clothes because I actually wanted to not be dirty and in workout stuff and non-showered and everything. And I had some time because I actually planned out my day very well and had extra time so I went and got ready a little early. It is 6.23 and I'm meeting my friends at seven so I have extra time to record these. So I was like, I wanna record this video. Just to give you guys an update on what we're doing. So currently five weeks out, I will post a, I would say I'd post a physique update, but I just posted a picture to Instagram. If you haven't seen it, um, I'll show you guys. I'll probably actually insert a clip, so you might even see that, but. Um, it's not gonna focus. Anyways, um, it looks a little racy. I get it. I posted it with a quote. If you don't follow me on Instagram, this is what it says. There's nothing more rare nor more beautiful than a woman being unapologetically herself. Comfortable in her perfect imperfections to me, that is the true essence of beauty. Because I'm learning to love my body and embrace this and enjoy the challenge and trust in the process and go through all this. However... I do want to say this much. Um, so, <laughs> things are going to change a little bit. Sorry, I'm putting on a song because I just need some noise. Um, so, we're five weeks out. We're continuing the prep. And we're going to, this is my hand on there if that made a noise. <laughs> we're going to finish this prep. I don't 
foresee stepping on stage in July. The first week of July, which is when we thought the date was. And if you watched two, three videos ago, there was a chance we wouldn't. I would stop. Um, I'm not a fan of bikini. I want to do it for practice, so I do think it would be beneficial. And I think it would be um, worth it. Um, unless a miracle or maybe anorexia happens. I'm just kidding. It's not funny. Um, <laughs> in the next five weeks, I won't be stepping on stage. But what we get is the chance to experience this with my coach. She gets to understand my body. She has to see what it can do, taper it down, deplete it, go through the five, well, these last five weeks, see what it looks like all the way up to peak week, and then we can choose the next show, regardless of what happens. 100% regardless. If you follow me, hold me to it, I don't care. I will be doing figure next March. There is a show I already have in mind. It's going to happen. Figure is what I want. Now, I know this is weird right now, and it doesn't really, I don't know how to pose or anything, but when you look at my body, this isn't bikini. Like, this is not what I want. I want broader. I want more shoulders that cap. I want this muscular, I want, I want my shoulders to have like, ugh, and I want my lats to just pop. I mean, that's a little bit, but it's a lot to some people, but to me, it's nothing. Like, you, it takes so much lean muscle and a lot for you to step on stage. So, figure is where my heart is. Figure is the goal I gave myself. Figure is the challenge I gave myself. And figure is the route I want to take. I know what it's going to take to get me there and I know what I have to do. And I'm finally starting to see these crazy changes in my body and I'm embracing it and loving my body and it feels so good. That being said... I'm still going to do this bikini prep, I'm still going to do this vlog series, I'm still going to continue to vlog after that, but things are just going to change and it, seriously, rude, <laughs> but so cute, and that's his mama. <laughs> Side note, interrupted, it's there's just so much to come. There's just so many good things to come. And, um, you know, I'm sharing a lot more of my personal life in these vlogs. And I, I hope that everyone enjoys that or appreciates it or doesn't. I don't know what you all think. And I honestly don't care because this is more so for an accountability factor and more so for, like, me and, like, my journey and just like sharing it because somewhere out there there is someone that came from you know the 284 pounds that I was 284 pounds as a fat girl if you saw my transformation pic I posted you would know and that wasn't even my biggest but I mean ooh, there's thunder <laughs> look <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love when he sits like that. Thunder. Thunderstorms and sunny out still, too. But I just wanted to share this with you. This has gone way too long. This video is six minutes. I'm going to cut it off. I apologize. There's way too much talking in this. <sighs> There's a lot to come. There's going to be good things. If you won't follow me and you care and you believe in me and you want to keep following me, please do because there's going to be so many amazing things coming. And this transformation from where I started to where it's going to end, holy shit, people. I want to be that girl. I want to be that girl that inspires others. And I want to be the girl that shows people that it can be done. You can come. I was very athletic and then I got very overweight and unhealthy and fat. There's just no way around it. You can be like, oh, you were just heavy. No. It was fat. And then I came back from it. And I'm going to keep coming and coming and coming higher and higher and changing. And I'm so excited. There's so much to come. And I love you all. I love your faces. I love vlogging with you guys. I don't even know who watches this or who I'm talking to, but I love you. And... I'm redoing my apartment, so that'll be fun, too. I'll probably do, like, a video on that, too. But the day in the life is coming. I wanted to film this. Then you'll see me in the same outfit doing something else. But 
so much coming. So much. And more workouts. I'm sorry I didn't get to film any of this, and this is nothing but talking and probably very boring to a lot of you. But if you can relate to it, I love you, and I'm sorry, and I have so much more to come. Please stay tuned. So I also thought I'd insert a clip to show you what my coach did for the class today. Um, the bring Sally up, bring Sally down. I actually YouTubed it and it's kind of like actually a thing. She was like, and she asked me, remember in the clip before this, you'll see that. Um, so I thought I'd show you guys what we did and what it looks like. I actually don't know where I'm going to put the camera. Um, I guess like right here. Alright, so... I'm wearing a skirt because I'm getting ready to go out, my friends. I just got ready. But let's try this out. so I can't keep doing this because I did this. I had legs with her yesterday. And whew, I can't keep doing it. But the funny part about it is like, so there's a part in there where it's like the bring Sally up where you saw me like squeal and go back down. Because it does like, there's, I want to say we did maybe like three, four, four maybe. There was four parts where it goes bring Sally down and then it's like it just keeps going into another verse but it doesn't ever say come back up but we had dumbbells on our back and uh or barbells barbells sorry I said dumbbells like an idiot but yeah so but we did it and I was like she's crazy and it was so funny oh I'm in the most uncomfortable position um I wish I could have kept doing it because it was really fun but I am so sore and legs on Friday with her. We squatted heavy. We went hard. It was awesome. And then we did, um, then I did this today, and then I did um, back afterwards, but I'm still very sore. But yeah, the Bring Sally Up, everyone should try it. Like, download the song or put it on your mix or do whatever. I need my bangs cut, so I keep turning my head because they're like covering my eyes. Um, but it was actually kind of cool but it was funny because after everybody was done they're like I hate Sally. Sally's mean. Sally's a bitch. I'm like yeah I don't like her either. I'm like do you guys remember Sally and maybe you guys do. Apparently like no one remembered the song when I said it but do y'all remember that song? Sally the camel had four humps. Sally the camel had three humps and then it gets down to Sally the camel had no humps because Sally was a horse. Do y'all remember that song? <laughs> No one remembered it, and I was like, that's all I could think of when I did this. And I mean, your squatting with the comps, the relation, whatever.